What's up guys? It's uh, Miguel here and I haven't been making videos for a while but uh, I'm gonna amend that today. I've got a lot of messages on Instagram recently from um, a variety of hurdlers of all kinds of abilities, all kinds of ages, sort of asking for advice. Now, I'm no coach, okay? Uh, I don't have any experience in coaching uh, aside from giving tips here and there but I have a fair understanding of you know how I hurdle and how I attack a race. So I thought what I'd do is I'd go through um, a race of my own uh, and sort of go through and see nitpick a bit and basically pick out the bits that could change, what I actually thought went right, what went wrong and uh, hopefully you guys can take it away um, and look at the various elements and see you know is my is my hurdle uh, technique better than you know, mine in certain ways, how can I learn off this, how can I learn from the others also that I'm about to show you in this race, because uh, that's important, you know, don't necessarily always focus on me, uh, if I make a comment, you know, focus on how the others are doing it relative to me, because uh, in this race I'm about to show you, there are definitely hurdlers here who are getting things right that I'm not, okay, I do go on to win this race, however, just because you are winning the race does not mean you're doing all the things right, okay, so with that being said, uh, let's take a look here, okay, so this was an interesting race. So this is, um, this is in Manchester. This is the England Athletics uh, Championships. This is the Senior Championships. Uh, oh, let's not do that. Um, and it was the, this is the heat. Um, this is around about late July. So as you can see here, the gun goes off and I'm pretty sure Sam over here reacts before anyone else does. So he gets a good reaction and he gets his foot down well. Okay, so I've, I've changed a seven strides at this point. So I'm a seven strider. Um, guys, I will say about, what I will say about seven strides is it's not necessarily for everyone, okay? I am fairly tall. I've got quite long legs. I am about 6'1", six, 6'2", six, and I, my speed was really, you know, coming up. I was, uh, I was working hard on the speed, and the problem was that with eight strides, I was getting way too close. My legs were long. I was bounding through and I had to really, uh, you know, fold up on myself at the last few steps just to get, you know, over the hurdle. So I switched to seven strides. Um, the indoor season I spent last year was eight strides. I made the switch uh, during warm weather, and it's 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 absolutely benefited me as you, as you'll be able to see here. So if I just take us through the race here, so nice first landing here. As you can see, I'm over my 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 landing foot, so that's always good, and I'm picking up speed here already. Um, so this is, uh, this is step three, I think. At this point, you do want to be almost close to standing as tall as possible. So if you are still hunched over, um, you know, leaning forward, then you're going to find it hard to come up and attack the hurdle properly. Over here, it could be better. Okay, I do think I'm a little bit leaning f forward, still in a bit of a drive phase. I do recommend that you come up taller. But as you can see here, I'm kind of poised in a position to attack the hurdle. Over here, um, Michael is doing a pretty good job of this. Ryan here as well is also doing all right job of it. I think better than me. Even though I'm ahead, you know, you, ideally you want to be taller. So as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of sinking on my strides. So, you know, what you want to do is you do want to stay tall and work off the ground, you know, use it, keep your hips tall. Because at the end of the day, if your hips are sinking, when you reach that first hurdle, you are going to be in trouble. Um, but I do at the last minute manage to sort of pick up my hips. As you can see, I've got full extension there and I'm touching down um, over my str over my foot. So I do have a bit of a step here. Actually, no, it's not bad. So as you can see, my, the, the, my last foot comes directly under my hip. So that's, that's what I want. I'm struggling at the moment with that because I'm trying to get back into this form. But realistically, what you want is when you're about to attack that hurdle, you want your planting foot, uh, in my case, it's my right foot here, to be directly underneath your hip so that you don't have to, you know, work from back here and push, put yourself forward. You're already over it. Um, and this is, uh, well, it worked pretty well. Um, I think this was one of the better attacked hurdles. And as you can see here, you know, I reached forward for the hurdle. I've got a bit of a fold up here. As you can see, my leg really does bend over. You want to ideally get it to stretch across the hurdle and then bend over as you come across it. Um, but my trail leg does come through pretty good. So I apologize for the blurry picture, but um, you know, the trail leg comes through all right. Um, let's see. So that one was way better. So the, the second hurdle attack here is way better. So for that, as you can see, my leg there, okay? The foot's facing upwards, okay? You don't want your foot to be facing like that. 
So let's say this is the spike side of it. You want your spikes to be facing the race, um, you know, basically the finish line. Okay, you don't want it to be like that because that's a weak position to be able to pull the leg down. And as a result of that, you can see that my leg swings down way quicker. So I'll show you the first two hurdles and you can see that my second hurdle, the leg comes down way quicker. So here, bang, bang. And even there, the third one is even better. Um, so as you can see right there, that position there, my foot is completely up. Um, that's something that's really hard to work on. I had to fight, fight quite a lot because my body isn't naturally that flexible. You know, everyone else around me is <laughs> pretty flexible um, and I struggle with that element. As you can see here, look, if you take a look at what Sam's doing here, that's exactly what you want. It's a nice lean, good arm control and his foot's just upright so it's got enough power to fling down. Um, and as you can see here, if I show it again, you know, with me, it swings down really fast. And also, I think we've paid enough attention to the lead leg. Let's talk a bit about the trail leg. The trail leg comes through nicely, okay? So there's no, there's no hit here. Um, the foot doesn't come beyond the point of the leg. And what, what, by the knee, I should say. And what I mean by that is you don't want your foot to come higher than your knee. You always want your foot to stay lower than your knee. Because some hurdlers, you know, they flick. And they, uh, put this on first, because this is the microphone. They effectively, they get their foot higher so it's like they're flicking their foot up and you don't want that you want your knee to always be higher than your foot and you want to drive with the knee um, and you can see here that's exactly what I'm doing and that's a good position there because that means from that position I'm almost close to landing with enough power to swing through into the next uh, into the next stride so upon landing I am in that position. So this is um, not bad. Okay, there's a lot to work with here. Ideally, you want your leg to my knee, my leg to be right there, like already, you know, ready to go into the next stride. It's not a bad thing. It's not terrible. It's a lot better than I've done in the past, that's for sure. But um, that's an important element of running fast in hurdles. So if you have speed and you're not understanding why it's not applied to the hurdles, this might also be something to look at. If your leg isn't clocked, ready to go into the second, into the basically the first stride of the three in between the hurdles, it's probably because you're landing and your, your, your trail leg's lagging behind. So my trail leg's lagging behind a bit. You know, let's take a look at uh, someone else. So I'll look at Tom here. So this is my training partner, Tom. As you can see here, he's normally quite good at this. I won't lie, but obviously he's hit the hurdle and so he struggled a bit coming off it. And this is what I mean. So if he hadn't hit that hurdle, he probably would have been all right. So if you look at Michael in the lane next to him, on landing, as you can see, the leg is almost perfectly ready to go. Um, so if I took a look, take a look at it here, that one is a bit of a struggle. This one might be better. No, this one, <laughs> this one's not great. So as you can see here, I've hit the hurdle and my leg is far behind. So this is, my lead leg's about to touch down and my trail leg is not even close to getting through. So I knew, you know, you know, when you're in this, in these moments, you feel it, you can feel that your trail leg really has to, you really have to, you know, pull it through. Um, so that's a tough one there. Um, let's see if I take a look at this one. Is this one any better? The lead leg is great on that one. And the trail leg's better. Uh, you can see how, you can see I'm, tr I'm working hard to work it through. That's the thing. Um, that's this position here, where I pulled it here, that's ideally what you want your touchdown to be. Okay, if your touchdown is like that, then you can really work off. You can work the speed in between. Um, I think, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show the first five hurdles first. So that one was a bit slow, and I get quicker as I go along. So this one here, bang. Right, that hurdle there is probably the best hurdle I think I've put in the race. So good attack over my planted foot. Great attack. That's, that's the thing. You want your foot to be like that. So as you can see, it's facing the, right, the finish line. And I've got a nice lean going as well. You don't ever want to be too upright. You want to be able to lean. And the reason you lean is because you want to have the freedom to be able to ha allow your trail leg to come through. The more you lean, the easier it is for the trail leg to come through. Um, you know, it's the same principle as if you, you know, you try to do a hurdle stretch uh, on the ground. If you lean forward, it's easy to put your trail leg back. That's just the reality. And if you stand up, you can feel the tension right there in the hip. So because I've got a good lean, uh, my trail leg can easily come through. And as you can see, on landing, I'm, I'm tall. I'm not leaning back, because that's something I've been doing recently. I am over my stride, okay? Because you don't want to land and be like, whoop, you know, that's the worst thing you can do. And that's something that I do quite a lot, actually. And it's not great, um, but you do want to, you know, work into the strides. Uh, let's talk a bit about the in running in between. Um, as you can see, I am bounding quite well off 
the strike. So I, I land here and I do bounce quite well into my second stride. It's a lot of people sometimes they tend to sink, okay? You don't want to sink, okay? That's, that's what you basically don't want when you're running between. A lot of people, they sink the hips and it's a working the hips up over the hurdle and back up over the hurdle. You don't want that. Realistically, you want your hips to stay level, well, depending on the height of your legs, obviously, but relatively level. So you want to be tall, you want to be pushing through the core and keep everything going forward. But sometimes people have a tendency to sink, and I certainly do as well. Um, you don't want to sink in. You don't want to do this. You don't want to fold over. You want to stay over your stride. Uh, and often, as you can see, I do here. You can see there, right? So that's not great. So I'm tall here and then, you know, sinking right there. So I've gone and fell basically um, in on myself and I have to work hard to bring myself back up. Not ideal. Um, it's hard to fight that thing. So as you can see here, a lot of the people around us doing it. Um, but it is almost like if you were to take the level of my, my hips in, in a race, it'd be like this, this. You know, you don't want that. You want it to be like this at most a little bit and that's it. Um, my arms were a lot better this race. Um, I do have very wild arms. As you can see, when I attack the hurdle, my arm is going you know, out here. So I, cause I like to do, you know, swing it through. This is something that Aries Merit does a lot. Um, it's not ideal practice. Uh, no coach will recommend you do this. My coach hates it. Um, ideally you want to keep the arm, you know, tucked inside and then it goes bang. So it comes straight right in front of you and doesn't go out here. doesn't go out there, you know, nothing like that. Um, and, but to be fair, my trail leg arm is a lot better in this. I'm keeping it under control. And right, so that there, you can see my arm is out there. It's better than it has been before, but realistically you, you do want it to almost be 90 degrees upon landing so that you are effectively, when you've touched down, you're in the running position. So it's just a work the arms. Uh, if it goes out too far, you have the tendency to also, you know, open up the hips and twist. I once run a, won one of the bigger races, an English schools race, because on hurdle five, I was in the lead, did this, whole hips opened up, and suddenly I can see the stands rather than the finish line, and it's ruined everything. So one of the big things to also focus on is make sure that that trail leg arm comes through and tucks through so you can work the arms off the hurdle. Um, what else can I say? I mean, it's quite clear you want to stay tall. One thing you also I could talk about is a cut step, right? I'm working hard to work on a cut step, okay? As I've said before, if you plant and you're, as you can see here, my body is behind my foot, so I have, I'm have, i gonna have to work. I know in this position, I'm gonna have to work to launch my body over the line of my foot. If I put my foot directly under where I wanna take off, then it's just a push over. That's all it is. But because I sometimes have a tendency to do so, it, you know, it makes problems in that respect. So that's not a bad hurdle. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm hitting hurdles. If I didn't hit hurdles, I wouldn't be running as, making these problems. That one's a good hurdle. Um, is this a good one, this last one? Right, so that, that's what I mean about trail leg lag lagging. You know, you want it ideally to be straight. You know, that's, that's, that's the reality of it. Um, you don't want to also, I mean, you do want to stay tall and work the last, the last run. I know we're in the indoor season now, but you might as well talk about this because it's, it's kind of applicable for the uh, uh, indoors as well. As you can see, three strides in, I'm already falling over. Okay, not great. You want to stay on top of yourself, okay? Because if you're falling over, like, pfft, it's going to be a tough one. It is going to be a long ride the whole way there. So you do want to stay on top. As you can see, I'm working harder, but I'm, I'm, I'm falling over myself almost. Um, and the dip was a bit early. As you can see, I dipped there, and then I, there, and then I basically come up again, right? What was the time here? 30.99 was the time in the end, which is, it was fantastic. You know, it was really close to my PB. Um, I've, my PB is 13.97. So, but you know, the thing is, I got to question myself is, um, had I not hit the hurdles, you know, in the odd places here or there, would I have run quicker? Yeah, probably, you know, these are things you've got to factor in consideration. But I think the biggest limiting factor in this race was that my trail leg wasn't coming properly through on the race. So if we take a look at it here, you know, it looks, it looks all well and good. A lead leg was certainly fly, flying this race. This was the best my lead leg has ever been for sure. Um, but my trail leg was lagging behind. It was struggling to keep up with my lead leg, which happens, you know, it, it, people have their strengths and weaknesses. But watch it one more time. Um, you know, I'm very good at starting. That's, that's my strength. 
so I, I always know I'm I'm going to be good off the start. But um, no, it was it was a relatively smooth race. I didn't knock anything down. No, that's that's quite rare. If you know me, you know I knock a lot down. So it's not bad. Um, I think I think what I'm going to do is um, because I've had a lot of people send me videos and ask me to you know critique their technique. What I'll do is I might do a YouTube video where I will take your uh, your videos and I'll, I'll I'll try and see if I can critique them. As I've said, take it with a pinch of salt. I'm not a coach. You know, I'm not qualified. Not UK qualified. I've not got any of that. All I have is my understanding of the fundamentals of hurdles. That's all I have. Okay. So you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, but with that said, guys, I, I hope you did enjoy my analysis of my race. I hope there's some stuff you can take and apply to your own technique. Um, if you want me to go through any other you know, aspects of hurdling, then let me know so you know, I can focus on that element uh, rather than what I'm, I see. Um, and there's a lot to learn. I think that's important with the, with the hurdle community is that there's a lot to learn. There's a lot I can learn from you guys. There's a lot you guys can learn from me. Uh, if we work together, you know, we get better. That's the reality of it. So, guys, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please go do so. It's Miguel S. Pereira. Uh, by all means, follow me on Twitter. I think the name's the same. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment, guys. Uh, I, I do enjoy the feedback. I do enjoy when you guys get engaged. It you know, allows me to sort of look back and say, okay, I can help you in this way. I can help you in that way. You know, what kind of videos you want to watch and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, um, guys, I may make a video uh, for my trip to France this weekend, maybe. Um, but yeah, with that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, check out my other vids, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.